And I think one of the reasons why... Nathan Lyon singing on his intentions a couple of times this morning. He's timed that well. It's a boundary for the man that's filling the role of night watchman. Squeezed away. More runs off the edge this time from Lyon. Consecutive boundaries. He's on his way to that double. That's Fuller squared up, but it's going to be more runs. And it'll be the third boundary of the morning. Yeah, Harris won't mind that. Early boundary for him. Frustrate. Edged, taken. Lion departs. Robinson, not exactly over the moon about it, but he's knocked over the night watchman. Butler takes the catch. And that's the length you were talking about, Vaughan. He did get it full. Nathan Lyon going for the drive. Healthy edge. Edge taken! Wood with the wicket. Labuschagne out for just one. The skipper takes the catch, and that's the wicket England needed. But that's what extra pace does. Any other bowler, Manus left. Oh, oh, is it a chance? An outstretched hand of Joss Butler. Really difficult catch to be wrong footed, the inside edge. Oh, and still only two slips. <laughs> Double noise. Was that given? No, Paul Rifle says that is out. Marcus Harris very quick to review. Uh, yeah, it goes past the bat onto the pad. You'll be changing it soon. That is a huge wicket for England, and you can see the joy. Edged and gets through. It'll race away the speed Mark Wood is bowling. Four at the end of the over. But it's challenging stuff, 416. Cut and cut well. Out to the boundary, a real loosener for Ollie Robinson, and Travis Head tucks into it. Well, drops it short and gets the treatment. Second ball after lunch. Well played, Marcus Harris, repaying the faith in the selectors. It's been a dry spell, but he picks up 50. Yep. Beats the fielder. Just gently guided down to the... Stokes has a throw on. Oh, that's closer than you think. It was gone. Good gearing. Oh, through. That matters. There's a sweeper down there, but he's not going to cut it off. I mean, really comfortably put away by Harris. He's enjoying himself out there. Edge and taken by the captain at first. It's his second catch of the day. You can see how much it means to him. That's disappointment for Travis Head. Been slow going. They just pinned him back. Edge and Root gets his third. Just as we speak. What a quality bowler Jimmy Anderson is. He continues to pose questions to the batter. Green was in all sorts of trouble then as Kerry. Play tests. Ooh, might have been out there. Works it fine. It's the scoreboard ticking the lead out to seven. Six for 192. Well, that is a thing of pure beauty from Cameron Green. Class, composure, timing. All the things you want from a great on drive. First four after the break. <laughs> Very close. And given Jack Nietzsche has a wicket. He's decided to take it upstairs, Cameron Green.
Just rock and roll that for me. As the ball is in line and hitting them. So confirmation, Jack Leach, which is his second wicket of the tour, but his first of this. Edged and taken, Ben Stokes, an inspired change for Joe Root. And England are riding this game, a lead of 34, just two more needed. So, but surely. And he gives himself some room and he watches back down the track. <laughs> One, two bounces into the fence. All right. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh shot to oh, shot. Oh, Does oh. this chap do anything wrong? That's what we're just talking about. I think he's the about. most perfect specimen <laughs> in the world. <laughs> That's what we're just talking about. They've got such a good defence pack coming. Oh, oh, Jimmy Anderson! Flying to his right. Oh, oh he's dropped. Well, there was a sighter. <laughs> yeah. That was, was self-preservation. Yeah, it was, if you didn't take it, you might have had a... Well, it will be now, because that's going to be a boundary, and it's going to be a boundary to finish. Well, easy. In the end, Jimmy Anderson with his fourth. He'll keep going. He's one for a fifer. The Australian captain just trying to take on the pull shot. Got him. Mark Wood with his second. A good grab. That second slip. Zach Crawley with the catch. He's taken two good ones, hasn't he? He took a good one. It's a very similar start to... Yes. Edge. Oh, falls short. Importantly for Crawley. can pick up four runs. Immaculate lines and lengths. Not for the first time. It was indeed. There's the edge. It didn't take long. Mitchell Stark had to turn around eventually and he gains the approval of umpire Paul Wilson. Oh, that's close. They like it. Australia confirmation. It's doing two. Mitchell starts on a hat trick. That would have last decided to refer. Pact is in line and it's straight now. Now, if Cummins doesn't get you, Stark probably will, and it's two in two for me. Lovely stroke. A little bit too much. He's all too familiar in this territory. Met with a full face. You know Joe Root's playing well. Oi! Through the cordon, and it's a packed cordon. Nicely driven from Hamid. In a, a nice position. Lovely that. Nice. Three for 22. Wow. And look at that cordon behind him. Oh. Bowled him! Bowler John Fire at the G in England. They are crashing down. Wow. Wow. Four for 22. As you call it, Howie. Good call. Big English captain. He punches it down the ground with Defoe. Should come back for three. And put England finished the day at four for 31. England still trailing by 51, 2 nipples and 37 runs. England, a dead test match.